This is Tank's vlog for August 16th, 2017, wrapping up today in sports. Had another chance to go visit the office at barstoolsports.com and I had another great day. I mean, it's it's really fun there. It's truly a fantastic place to work. I it's it's a great great website and it just Truly the future of sports coverage, I think, is going to be at Barstool Sports. I think what's coming in the future is just great things. And I just got another chance to witness it today, and soon enough I'll be there again. And uh, I just want to thank everyone for hosting me today for a couple hours as I hung out, got the chance to uh, make a couple of appearances on the uh, radio show and the rundown. So, just another great day at the office. And I'm sure I'll be back again soon. Well, the office was just a quick stopover because I was on the way to the Subway Series today. How does two play? How? 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 How do two players go down with hip injuries in batting practice? What is going on? I'm at a loss for words. I am at a loss for words. Jose Reyes and Wilmer Flores both. Get scratched from the lineup at the last minute because they get injured in batting practice. How does that happen? If there's any more evidence, any more evidence that this coaching staff doesn't watch out for the players, that something is wrong with this training staff, medical staff, coaching staff, these injuries, there's just too many damn injuries for this to be bad luck. It's not bad luck. There's something fundamentally wrong with how the Mets operate. I've never heard of this. I've never heard of two players going down with the same injury suffered in batting practice. Were they the Corsican twins? What? It, 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 there's no logic. There's no way to explain this. So, on the Mets went, Travis Darno and Estrubo Cabrera going back and forth between third base and second base. La da 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 da! La da 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 da! Aaron Judge, meanwhile, he strikes out for the 30 third time, but not before putting one in orbit. They said the home run was 457 feet. There's no way. No way. That ball went, only went 457 feet. This ball almost reached the 500 level in the upper deck. It, it, this is like just landed in the front. There's this is basically like three levels at the upper deck in left field at City Field. And this landed at the back of the second level in the upper deck, almost getting to the 500 section. That that just doesn't make sense. It's in the 400, just just in orbit. He hit it by the stairs of the upper deck, because because you have the tunnel and then the stairs go up to the 500 section. And you have the 400 sections right there by the, the ramps. And then you have a, a section below that. And he put one nearly in the 500 level. Oh, boy. And Robert Gazelman. Better check your friggin' attitude. The next time I hear any player say, I don't care, he better not start. I don't care how bad. 
the Mets injury situation is. Gazelman needed to be gazbenched and get his gazass out of Gaz New York. You don't care. I don't care about your attitude. Red Sox had a walk-off win today. Dodgers had a walk-off win today. Some teams look like they're really rounding into shape for an October run. So the Red Sox don't lose any ground on the Yankees. Angels beat the Nationals. So they're uh, keeping pressure on the wild card. Cubs blew a lead but came back to win on a walk-off wild pitch against the Cincinnati Dreads. I don't understand the Cubs. I don't understand the Cubs. Rockies obliterated the Braves. Astros beat the Diamondbacks. That's pretty much the story in baseball today. What a friggin' nightmare this season's been for the Mets. What a total nightmare. Today's three stars is Clayton Richards, who had the first perfect, uh, complete game for the Padres in since 2014. That's incredible. Trevor Story of the Rockies had six RBIs. This is the Braves and Elvis Andres who had four RBIs and three runs scored for the Rangers in their win over the Tigers. Today we give a birthday shout out to the original Boo Pal. I know that uh, there was a uh, kid in uh, Little League uh, competition last week. Uh, trying to get to the Little League World Series, named John Powell. Uh, or was it John, was it John Powell? Well, the original Boo Powell was John Powell. But uh, a hefty kid got the nickname Boo Powell after the original hefty first baseman for the Orioles, Boo Powell. So happy number 76 to Boo Powell. And uh, on this date, we remember Davis Love the Dirt winning his one and only major championship among with a rainbow overhead at winged foot in Marinac. So we take a look back and um, at sportsencyclopedia.com on this date we'll return to Barstool Sports tomorrow. I'm sorry guys, I'm just too tired. So uh, if, you, if you miss on this date today I just didn't have enough time to do it. And I will return with a good one tomorrow. Good day.